Across the mountains and valleys of Lesotho lie villages that seem almost forgotten by civilization. Many of these places cannot be reached by road, only by horseback or by airplane. Small and forgotten places, yet in these villages live people who have hardly ever heard of the message that Jesus saves, never die in souls that need help preparing for eternity. This morning we flew out to a remote village with Mission Aviation Fellowship. I like flying. I like the scenery that I see in Lesotho, the mountains. It rained last week and it's just beautiful here today. But there's something that always bothers me when I come out to these places. So there's little villages. As you look down from an airplane, you see a little village there and a little village there, this side and that side. No roads to them. You see the sheep and the goats don't see the shepherd boy, but I know he's there somewhere. And it always bothers me because those people haven't heard the gospel. Souls that will almost surely go to hell unless somebody does something about it. And I want to talk to you, maybe a young person that's listening to this video or even an older person, and you feel like God's speaking to you about being a missionary. We need your help. The people of Lesotho need your help. Africa needs your help. Who will reach the people of Lesotho that live out in the mountains, away from where there's roads, away from where there's easy access? But somebody needs to come and tell them about the next life, about heaven and about hell. And if we don't do that, they will go to hell. What are you living life for? What's the purpose of your life? Is the American dream your goal? You want to have a good life, comfortable life, enjoy things in this life? Or do you really want to make your life count towards eternity? Do you want to build God's kingdom here on earth? Then when you get to heaven, there'll be souls there in heaven because you went told other people about the good news of Jesus dying on the cross for their sins, that their sins can be forgiven and that they can have a relationship with God, that they can also be his disciples. What really matters in your life? Do you want to make it count or will you waste your life? A long time ago, one of the early missionaries that came to Southern Africa wrote in his journal that he sat out on a hill looked out across the plains and he said that he could see the smokes of a thousand villages where people hadn't heard the gospel yet. One time since I've been here in Lesotho, I was up on a hill early in the morning. It was in winter and people are out starting their cooking fires and I saw the smokes of a thousand houses and it was an area where we hadn't preached the gospel yet. There's a lot of work to be done in Lesotho still. And we're looking for missionaries that are willing to come and help us here. Somebody that's willing to invest their life and learn the language and become a part of the Basotho culture until they accept you as one of their own people. And then they listen to your message and they trust you because you know them and they know you. We're looking for a missionary that can come to some of these remote villages and establish a work here, start a church, and then begin training other workers and send them out to the next village and the other village and the village on the other side of the ridge and plant churches in this part of Lesotho in these remote areas. Do you feel God calling you? It's not just Lesotho where people need the gospel either. If you look in South Africa, the townships, the suburbs around the big cities are godless places. Violence is rampant. The children grow up almost unsupervised there. AIDS has killed thousands. 
huge populations of people crammed together in tin shacks and little houses. And they desperately need the gospel. They need God's word. They need hope there. Hope International Missions is already working in three townships, kind of around the Lady Brand area at Hob House and Lady Brand. We've also heard the call of people that are wanting a church in Bloemfontein, which is one of the large cities in South Africa, one of those crowded townships. There's people there that are asking us, begging us to come and start a church where they live. And there's cities all over South Africa and little towns. Each one has its township where the people are crammed together and, and need God's word. They need the hope of the gospel. We need church planting missionaries to go to those places and start churches and train leaders that can go out from town to town and out into the farms and the surrounding areas and spread the gospel to the people in South Africa. As I've traveled with Brother Peter Murray, countries like Zambia and Namibia, Zimbabwe, our focus has been distributing Bibles and getting God's Word into people's hands, but wherever I go, I meet pastors that don't come asking for money, but they say, can't you please come and train us? We feel God has called us into the ministry, but we have no education, we have no training. Can't you please come and hold classes for us? So in the country of Zambia especially, there's wide open doors where we need missionaries that could go and train pastors, set up seminars for them. Hope International Missions is ideally placed with our involvement in the Shepherd's Global Classroom. We have material already that's, that's simple and understandable and can work in those situations. But we need missionaries to take it and teach it to the people. And our vision doesn't stop in Southern Africa. As I look, I can see training leaders in countries like Nigeria and Ghana. I see church planting in the Muslim world of North Africa, countries like Egypt and Mali and the Sudan, some of those places that are torn by war and sectarianism, they need the gospel. We need church planting missionaries. I want to see professionals who know a business or a trade going into the countries of North Africa, into Muslim countries, and beginning their businesses, setting up their trade in those places, but with the purpose of bringing the Christian witness into dark places, war-torn places, bringing hope to those people. I can see humanitarian missionaries working with orphans all around Africa medical missionaries, going into places where it's hard to go by any other way, but people are sick and they need the gospel. And we can bring those two things together, meeting their physical needs and also their spiritual needs. Our vision at HIM Africa is for there to be at least one thriving, reproducing holiness church in every country on the continent. The task is large and many missionaries are needed. What are you doing with your life? Will it count towards eternity or will you be successful only in this present earthly life? Isaiah tells us that he heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And he answered, here am I, send me. What about you? Will you help Africa prepare for eternity? Throughout this Engage series, you've been able to see and hear what God is doing in Africa through Hope International Missions. You've heard the passion, the heartbeat of our missionaries who are doing everything they can do to help people come to know Christ as their personal savior. You've heard the stories of lives transformed by the power of the gospel lives who were demon-possessed in many cases or, or just wrecked and hopeless. And yet now, they have the confidence of knowing that they're going to spend eternity with Christ one day. But today, you've heard the call. God is helping us 
to accomplish so many things. Disciples are being made. Good is being done for the kingdom of God. And yet, in reality, it's like we're barely seeing or touching the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more work that needs to take place. We need pioneer missionaries. People who will go to places where HIM is not yet currently serving and make disciples faithful followers of Christ. Will you go? Will you answer the call? But not only do we need missionaries, for those new missionaries and for the missionaries that are currently on the field, we need you to be senders, to continue supporting and upholding the work that these missionaries are doing, to pray for them, to give financially to them, to advocate on their behalf, to cheer them, to support them. We need you to continue serving as senders for these missionaries. As God does send us new missionaries, and as you continue to support, we know that great days are ahead for HIM Africa. We anticipate seeing many, many souls in eternity someday as a result of what God is helping us to accomplish in Africa.